All right, how you doing? Uh, it's Jim here, uh, obviously, and uh, I'm on my way to Selhurst Park with my very own driver, Sam. Here he is. Hello. Um, I'm playing a game at Selhurst for my stag do. I got officially married this morning. No ring, ring, it's not Sunday. And um, for my stag do, we're going to Selhurst. We've hired it out. Me and a load of my mates, we're playing a giant game of football. We've got the kits from Palace, we've got referees, we've got footballs. It's going to be amazing. Hopefully, I'm going to score a hat-trick or one or not get injured either way it's going to be a great day and i can't wait and i'm going to bring you guys along with me for a behind the scenes vlog so let's go Here we go then, walking out at Stellar's Park to glad all over. It doesn't get better than that. Although, as it was my stag, I didn't realise the boys had stitched me up and let me walk out on my own. Brilliant. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and drop a like on the video like a legend. Walking out of Stellar's is an unbelievable experience. It feels amazing walking down that tunnel out on the pitch, just like the players do that you see every Saturday. I mean, you know, there wasn't quite the capacity in, uh, that the players normally get on a match day in the Premier League but you know we soaked it all in we waved to the Homesdale pretending it was full to the brim of thousands of people obligatory claps there to the stadium and it's time to line up for the team instructions oh there's one guy there best thing about this day was it was all my mates from school from football from work all coming together to play a big game at Stillers and it was amazing. So we had the handshakes as per most games. Obviously I got stitched up, Street refuses to shake my hand there and I think it happened a few more times with the boys as well at the end. Wills and Rizzo there doing the same. These jokers. Time for a couple of photos. There's my dad at the end dressed as Malcolm Allison. And here's Team Seba having their photo, and obviously I get in and uh, trying some mind games on them before the game starts. Hey, it's my stag, I can do what I want. Flip a coin with the referee, and I think I won this one because I chucked in a little celebration. Yes, get in. One last photo, and it's finally time to kick off the big game that everyone's been looking forward to this season. Team Jim against Team Seb and we're away. Team Jim in the home palace strip, Team Seb in the away strip. Which way is this one gonna go? Well, we're about to find out. Here's Harry Howe's daily star on the ball there. That's Seba, my brother, knocking it inside to Ben Long, who returns it to Seba. Nice little turn, he looks to spray it out wide. It comes to Ben Burrows, he moves inside. Wisey with a good touch there, but he's lost possession. My first touch, well, Wisey easily disposes me there. But then gives away possession to Rob on left wing, who dinks the ball to, well, no one. That's easily intercepted by Steve, who plays it back out to Harry Howe's Daily Star. He looks to play it inside, but Jack Lang has intercepted it, and he moves forward, and there's me, number seven, in the middle, moving into a bit of space, Jack Lang. That's an excellent ball. JD with the first touch, it's exquisite. The second touch isn't bad either. That is the first goal of the game. It's pretty much the first attack from anyone. And of course, it's your boy JD rolling it in the back of the net for the opening goal. Everything about this goal was absolutely brilliant. The interception from Jack, the run, the run from me, the pass, first touch, and the finish. I mean, it's pretty much the best goal that scored at Celeste all season, let's be honest. Let's have a look at it again. Harry Howes tries to play it inside. Not sure who to. Jack reads that, intercepts it. Great first touch. Seba, number eight, pretty much can't be bothered to tackle him. Just lets him run past. And as he does that, I realise from the middle, I've got to get out wide. 
Look at that run, opens up the legs, galloping. It's a superb run. Jack waits for the pass. Mike at number 11 can't do anything about it because the pass is inch perfect. And that first touch is exquisite. He can't get anywhere near me. And the finish into the side netting bottom corner. I mean, that is just textbook. I mean, Christian Benteke only scored one goal all season at Celeste and that wasn't even from open play. So let's be honest, I should pretty much be in the Palace first team. Team Seba trying to get back into it there. Good ball in the box. Why is he on the turn? But oh dear, that's in well. Not row Z. What, row D maybe? Team Jim trying to play it out there. And uh, here's Dave on the ball. Tries to play it inside. And Wills intercepts. But plays it back to me. Nice little touch to get away from him there. And what can I do here? Opening it up a little bit. Outside of the boot pass to Dave. Got a good touch there, and Team Jim are on the attack. Where's it going to go? Rich now with a little touch. I want it back in the middle. No, isn't going to bother with that. Dave, but sells the defender, crosses it in. Dot Brown on the volley, and it's right at Terence there. Chance of 2-0. Team Jim pretty much on top here, aren't they? Jesse with the ball now at centre back. Little lofted ball into the middle, and Dave is turned. Good interception from Wisey there. Rich gets the ball to me. First touch is interesting. Second touch. Very interesting, look at that, Rabona. That's what the crowd came to see today. And Jesse gets the return on the one, two, he's in the box. Oh, that's kind of a cross shot to no one there. Let's have a look at this again. Look at that, absolutely textbook Rabona. That's why he's wearing the captain's armband. Also because it was my stag and I can do what I want. Here I am again on the ball. Up against Burrows, little touch there. Inside, left foot pass, don't see that very often because I haven't got a regular left foot. It's not a bad ball though, Dave's away. Recovery tackle, he's got another chance. Oh, and he gets underneath it too much. That's, that's way over. Ed Malian with the uh, heady clearance there, but Doc Brown can't get on the end of it. Steve, who you won't believe is the wrong side of 50, the way he plays, still unbelievably fit. Knocks it forward, Rizzo with the ball. That's, well, that's coming to no one, because Skip, Skippy's going to get there. Not a brilliant header though, because Travis is back in. And now Streety on the edge, what's he going to do? Nice little shimmy there inside. He finds Travis out wide. Can he get it in the middle? He does, Rizzo's there, and that is one all. You don't save those from that distance, that is a lovely finish. I mean, let's be honest, very annoying for me there walking away, having done literally nothing to stop it going in. Because I think that's pretty much Team Seba's first attack of the game. Uh, and we've ridiculously let a Charlton fan score at Sellers, which uh, should immediately mean the goal is ruled out. But it is a good finish, to be honest to him. And that is one all. Is Dave working his way through? No. And it comes to Rob Rollo on the edge. And that's why he's playing right back. And yeah, he knows it. Harry there with a nice little pass back. Here's seven, number eight. What's he going to do? He comes out wide to Ben Burrows. Nice little pass inside to Wisey, who I went to university with in Southampton. So I've known him a very long time. And I'd forgotten how good he was when I made these teams. Probably would have put him on my own team. I remembered how good he was. Plays it inside there to Harry Howes. Daily Star is now up front. Good first touch. Oh, brilliant second touch. Wow, what a finish. That, that is an absolutely brilliant goal. Doesn't even celebrate. How nonchalant. How arrogant. So that is Team Seb 2-1 up. And that, my word, probably one of the best goals seen at Celeste all season. Very similar to Johan Kabayas against Arsenal last our season. Oh dear, and Team Jim there for all their dominance. Now find themselves 2-1 down. Here's Warlow again. Plays it inside to me. Nice little turn away from Travis. What can I do? Come on, Jim. Oh, it's a crossfield ball. That's a lovely ball. And Rich is in. Go on, lads. Come on. Have a shot. No, don't pass it. He's played it out wide to Malian. And oh, they've got back now, Team Seba. What's he going to do with it? Come on. Little dink in the box. But nah, Seba will get there. That's probably going to be defended. And oh, dear, it fizzles out. Sam, my personal trainer there, on the ball in goal. Plays it out to Dave. And, oh, he's played into trouble there. It's intercepted. Harry Howes is going for his second. Oh, good save from Sam there. I feel like he maybe uh, set that up so he knew he'd uh, get to make a save and look good for the cameras there. But it was a good save, so fair play. And there's Dave Beebe there, doing very well to get the ball out of uh, out of defence. Comes into Dave's dot brown last at 1-2. Oh, and he's away. Oh, he's away from Sebra. He's got a lucky bounce. He's through. Come on, square it or shoot or something. And, oh, mate. No, that was nothing really, was it? Could have squared it to Callum there, number 12. Could have shot on target, didn't really do any, and he, uh, he ends up in the white horse for his troubles. Here's Rob then playing out of defence, and here's Dave. And that is half time. 2-1 to Team Seba. Come on, Team Jim. 
get back into this. Second half kicks off, we switch ends, obviously, that's what happens in football. And Team Seba have the ball. Played inside to Harry Colby now. What's he going to do with it? That's intercepted by Jack. What's he going to do? Jack Lang plays it in to Dave. That's a nice ball, and Ed has got away here. He has a shot, and I think that's going to be a save. It is tipped over, but that's a better, better move from Team Jim. Another attack from the home side. Rich now on the ball is going to do it inside to Jack. He's had a very good game so far. Oh, and he won't appreciate me putting this in the highlights package. Um, and they're away now. Team Seba, that street there, a nice point to Travis. He used to play for Palace's Academy, if you can tell, a very good player. Oh, and Street's got it back. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, he's dragged it wide. Dragged it well wide. He did moan afterwards that his back was hurting all game, but I think he might have been using that as an excuse. Now was a big chance for Team Seba there to go 3-1 up. Kind of against the run of play, let's be honest. And Lang is booked for the dive there. Rich with the ball inside. That's me. Oh, why he's on my tail, but played it out wide. To Jack, what's he going to do with it? Looks for the pass inside. It's come to Jesse. And that's a clear foul. Clear foul. And of course, who steps up? It's your boy, JD. Over the wall, it's going in. Oh, that's a good save from Terence there. That would have been a brilliant equaliser, let's be honest. Didn't it, what? Didn't even get a corner for that. Clearly a corner. Ridiculous. Here's Team Sebra again then. Travis on the ball. Plays it out wide to Wills. Plays it in. And that's a good save from the keeper, who, by the way, is me. Because I went in goal for a little bit. But that is safe hands there. And plays it out to the edge of the box. Here come Team Seb again. Why is he on the ball? Had a very good game, to be fair. Plays it out wide, and here's Wills again. What's he going to do? Gets the one two back to Wisey. Plays it in the box. Nah, you don't get past JD in goal with that kind of that kind of shot, mate. Come on. Already looking better than Hennessy in the goal at Sellers. But what's his delivery like? Oh, I'll tell you what, that's Premier League level, that is. And it's cleared by Team Seba. Team Jim pressing for an equaliser. Callum with a very strong header there. Jack Lang on the ball, plays it out wide to Jesse. What can he do? Team Jim really need to get back in the game here. Looks for the one two on the edge with Rob. That's intercepted in the box. And Steve goes to clear it. Nice little turn there. Plays it out to Burrows. Oh, he's, in, he's in trouble here, possibly. He has, he's lost it. And Jesse's allowed to break into the box. Who can he find? Dot Brown's there. Nice little turn. He's got a lucky ricochet. Can he get a second shot in? He can! It's 2-2. Two -two. What a goal there from Dot Brown. Strikers goal. He got a little bit lucky with the bounce in the box, but he finished it like a veteran striker. And Team Jim are back in the game. Probably the least they deserve. It's 2-2. And this is a bit of the game where I decided I wanted to come out of goal. So I told my dad, who was our manager, that I'm coming out of goal. I switched shirts with Dave, who went in goal. And then my dad absolutely pied me by making me sit on the bench for a bit. It's my stag. Surely I'm the only player that shouldn't come off. But, you know, when the gaffer says you're off, you're off. So there I am on the bench. Took it, took it like a pro, to be honest. You know, no fuss. Took it like an absolute pro that I am. Team Jim back out now. It's ball in from Malian. Dot Brown's free in the middle. Oh, and he, no, didn't quite get the connection he wanted there. Decent chance to make it 3-2 in his second of the game. Here's Wisey on the edge of the box. What can he do? Good tackle on Sam there. Seba picks it up. Looks to drive in the box. Gets a lucky ricochet. Plays it. Good block from Levo there. And who's going to win that? Malian wins that. But Wills lines up. Harry Howes, Daily Star, gives it to a Wisey. Good shot. Oh, good save from Dave there. Very good save. And I think that's the final few minutes of the game. So that would have been the winner, to be honest. But that's an excellent save and keeps it at 2-2. And here come Team Seba again. Seba plays it to the edge of the box. It's Mike Hall. What can he do? Uh, it's a cross come shot, really, that doesn't go anywhere. And that is the full time, 2-2. Two, two. So that means we go straight to penalties. And who steps up first? Of course, it's your boy, JD. And what's he going to do with this spot kick? Bang, you don't save those. And that was definitely the first spot kick I took, and not the second one, because I missed the first one with a terrible effort and was allowed to retake it. Anyway, here's Ben Long with Team Seb's first penalty. Nicely done, and that is one all in the shootout. Here's Malian. Oh, he's buried that. Oh, hello. Now here's Seba. What's he going to do? He's dragged it wide. Oh, dear. He had a very good game. 
but he's dragged that one wide and Team Jim have the chance to go ahead in this penalty. Here's Lang. Oh, it's a no-look pen. Oh, and it's buried in the bottom corner. Terence got a touch. That is 3-1 now to Team Jim. Here's Mike Hall. What's he going to do? Brilliant penalty. Absolutely buries it. No celebration. Nonchalant there. 3-2 to Team Jim in the shootout. Terence here looking to get a bit of mind games with Jesse. Coming out of goal, giving him the ball. Is that going to work? I don't know. Jesse's a kind of cool character, I'll be honest. I don't think it's going to have any effect on him, but let's see what he does from the penalty spot. He nails it, top corner. Wow, what a penalty that was. The mind games had absolutely zero effect. Now Dave in goal for Team Jim. Looks like he's going to try and do the same mind games with Whitey here. So he's come out of goal. Is he going to give him the ball? What's he going to do? I feel like he's going to do something with it. He goes to hand in the ball. Oh, that's just cheeky, that is. Trying to really get in YZ's head. Again, YZ, pretty cool character. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Anyway, big penalty that he probably needs to score right now. So, up your steps. That is a very good pen. And yeah, that's fair enough for that celebration. And now Doc Brown, if he scores this, Team Jim are the winners. He does! 5-3 on penalties. Team Jim have won the inaugural, and let's face it, hopefully only JD Stag match at Sellhurst. And look at the meme on the scoreboard. So there you go, final score, two all, but Team Jim run out 5-3 winners on penalties. Well, there you go. That was playing at Sellhurst from behind the scenes. What a finish from that number seven, eh? Not a bad goal and not a bad penalty either. Absolutely brilliant playing today, such good fun. Great bunch of lads. Uh, some good football, didn't think it was that bad, was it? And uh, yeah, just a wonderful day. So I hope you enjoyed this, this little behind the scenes of playing at Sellers Park. Um, it's obviously the first time I've done it. Don't forget to like this, this video if you liked it, you want to see more behind the scenes, you know, let, let's get more teams to get me to come play on their pitch. Um, subscribe if you haven't, if you're new here, just hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and join the notification squad as well. And um, that's it, really. Comment below, let us know how you thought we got on, you know. Should I be playing for Palace? Let's, I, we can all agree I should. And I went in goal, I kept a clean sheet. Thus, better than Wayne Hennessy. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, see you again very soon.